On boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. We gonna have fun. XO, we be on already. XO, it's a unique hustle. Big, big shit. Hey. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss talk. Yeah, everybody on it. Boss talk. It's a unique hustle. Boss talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy E C O, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, my day walk on. Hey man, check it, man. It's another day, another dollar, man. Two dollars, nigga. Yeah. There's some money going on, nigga. We get paid, man. Hey, man, we got a special guest today. I say that every time I find me something new to say. But we got a special, special person that's here right now, man. Uh, been watching her moves, really, man. Been seeing her putting it down, man. She got a big heart. I know because I know people. And I just wanted to uh, bring on here, man, because they got something big about to go down. So we're going to talk about that. But I want to go back a little bit in the backstory too. I be tripping. I want to hear everything. <laughs> you know, I'm going to come in here and just, just, just do a little drop and get the hell up out of here, man. <laughs> Check it, man. Mama Scott is in the building. In the building. Hey, so how you doing? I'm doing great. How yeah, are yeah, you? Yeah, man, I'm so, man, don't even ask, man. If I was doing any better, I'd just start floating up. I ain't oh, yeah. going to lie to you. We on that helium. I'm doing bro. real good. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, you know. Mama Scott, I, when I first seen you, I said, I'm not messing with that woman. That woman crazy as hell. I ain't crazy. I said, I'm crazy. She crazy. A whole bunch of crazy for to be in the room. Everybody say from the and I say, I say, I'm not messing with her. Yeah. I say, I see her. I say, I like what she doing. Yeah. Oh, she got Journey. Yeah. Oh, she got, okay. That's our artist. They got a song with Sauce Walker. A, this boy right here. AJ1K. AJ1K. I said, man. Okay, well, I I guess I'm gonna have to talk to Mama Scott. Damn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so how you been though? How, how? I'm doing great. So so tell us. I know you you from Longview. I'm originally from Henderson, Texas. You from Henderson? That's why okay. nobody knew yeah. where you were from. I'm from Henderson. Some nigga told me Marsh or something. They didn't say Henderson. Yeah, I'm, I was born in Henderson. Okay. I went all the way through school from nine nine years old all the way through college in Tyler. Okay. Okay, that's right. What, what, yeah. what, Tyler Junior College or yeah, Texas TJC. College? Yeah, You didn't go to Texas College? Nah, I didn't Your go money was long, <laughs> did you? <really? laughs> I was on a scholarship for music, actually. Already? Okay. So, see, this real. So, you've been yeah. in the music a long time. All my life. Really? Yeah. What inspired you to get into it? Um, Pretty much just, I just had the gift for music. I used to be a vocalist from that time. Anybody else in your family? My mom sings. Okay. Um, And I have other people that I was influenced by coming up she you know, probably was family. singing to you when she was, when you were in the belly and that's what started probably it. but she's in church you know mine's okay. a little bit different yeah 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 <laughs> this ain't no church not the way you run around that damn video we're so different <laughs> but that's where it all starts though because i'm sure yeah. as a kid you probably sang in the church choir and stuff like yeah. that right yeah and i made um when i really felt like i had a gift when i was younger at john tyler in How tyler old were you texas when you felt that way Probably about 14. 14. Okay. Yeah. Was it somebody who told you that you had? Because, you know, sometimes people get into people's head and be like, man, you so good. Oh, yeah. you talented. Shout out to Mary Samples. She used okay. to be the music director for John Tyler High. I made, fr I made the uh, pop group in the freshman, my freshman okay. year, and I was the only freshman. Me and my friend uh, Yoki, Yolanda okay. Jones, we both had special talents. Everybody that knows us from Tyler that went to school in the 80s know us for our voices, and that's what we used to did do. Did Yoki continue in the music? Um, no, I don't think she did, but she she still sings. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's okay. dope, man. Yeah. I but mean, that's good. You wasn't pump faking on me. I thought oh, you no. were pump faking. I, I thought I, you were just... On this shit. I said, she want to be like, uh, <laughs> what's that girl, Dev? I said, she thinks she Dev or some damn body. I say I don't know what's going on nah, with her. Yeah, I'm, on this on this. Shit. I'm telling you, this really helping yeah. me. You got therapy going yeah. on over here, girl. And anybody that, I can say that soundly because anybody that's from Tyler, uh, like the Carl McKellers, all of the people that's known, mm -hmm. J.J. Jones, everybody's from Tyler know that, and they know that that's facts. That's not I something you, I tell I'm you one person up. who know it. What's that? Papa, Papa John. Johnson. This nigga worried the hell out of me. I say, what the hell wrong with you? You, you got a crush on Mama Scott? You, you need some damn pom-poms and a damn tutu, nigga, the way you, you a cheerleader like a mother. That's my big bro. Why that nigga say, she's brilliant. I said, brilliant, nigga. Them, you know, you know, you, them kind of words. You know, oh, she's oh, she's spectacular, man. She got this. She got that. I said, nigga. 
Nigga, the shit paid you to call me. <laughs> <laughs> I did not understand yes. what the hell was going on because I, you know, I threw it out there. I said, "Man, what do you think about mom?" I, it was like it was. He was waiting. I said, "What do you think about Mama Scott?" <laughs> well, man, I'm gonna tell you. you know, you got that boy. Yes. <laughs> I say, man, hey, man, I'm gonna get up here and then take over TV. He was. Yeah. He shouted you out too. Jeff he the first Pelham. one. He told me I needed to. He said, "You need to interview." I said, "No, the hell I don't, brother. I seen that yeah, woman. Another and brother. Not, I said I'm not for the fool with her. Yeah, I, I say, look, man, you know how I am because he came up here too when I yeah. first was starting. Mm -hmm. They always dropping and it's in. It's always that type of uh, perception when they see me on the web because I don't I don't know how to like uh, fake the funk. I'm just me. Yeah. Um, and that's probably what makes me stand out. No, is no. That, um, I used to. I'm a lot better now, but when I first came on the scene, yeah, they knew if they pushed the button, I was gonna You're be right on there. You're the female version of me. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to see you. I said, hell no, nah. I don't want to deal with her because we both be. It's not gonna be it's good. True. That's true. You either ride with me or collide yeah, with me. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's the whole game for me. And then I be fly too. I say stuff. I yeah. don't even recant my statements. I just, yeah, be, just whatever. Saying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I'm not doing this live yes. because if I was, I couldn't cut yes. certain things out. Right. Because I done said some stuff that made me have to like, whoa. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, man. So, so what? So the music has been always organic with you. You always loved it, and that's dope. You yes. know what I'm saying? Um, the way that you're dealing with the youth, that's heavy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We need that. Yeah. And um, I've been dealing with a lot of different stuff since I started this podcast with a lot of different people who felt a lot of different ways. I think we would need it in the game. I know why I'm here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because there has to be somebody that enlighten people on a different way. Yes. We've been here long enough. It's our fault that they like they are. It because is. Because at the end of the day, I, yeah, facing life sentences, yeah. going and sitting down for a little while, it's going to affect your yeah. children. You it know is. what I'm saying? It so is. then we get out and be, oh, man, they crazy, man. They won't put their <laughs> pants up. They won't, And we don't talk to them. We talk about them. And yes. I think that's an issue. Yes. So I love what you're doing for us, just dealing with everybody that you got around you. Love the way it's family oriented. That's what it's yeah. all about. It's hard though um, when you try to. Um, one of my biggest struggles has been like when I first started out, my sons was my motivation to come off the couch to okay. manage them. You okay. know, uh, AJ One K moved here with his brothers from Mississippi. Okay. Because the label that I manage uh, was originated in Mississippi in okay. his hometown, and I like what it stood for which is family I always stay together mm. mm -hmm. and we just all voted to get that because I had two sons that had labels at the time him and DJK both had labels that's dope <clears throat> so they've been doing music all their lives since they was preteens. Wow so and passed uh, down in generation again yeah so okay. when he moved here we all just collectively said we we're going to push one artist at a time or push him so we wouldn't have to be bumping into each other. The formula was to try to get one of them through the door or to try to build the momentum so all of them can get the light. But that ended up bleeding into East Texas for me. Yeah. Um, because we did an event called Fast Bash, which my oldest son franchise named. Okay. Um, and that brought the city together and that brought friendships together like me and Trilly, which is now my co-manager. Okay. And also our producer. And he's also an artist as wow. well. Wow. <clears throat> um, wow. So that all just built over mm -hmm. the years but some of the friction comes from when people when they're not used to something or it was dead for a long time and then it gets resuscitated and mm -hmm. then they're they're feeling left out and yeah. so then you and i've experienced um hatred and jealousy you always and envy those haters from good. people that yeah. that they feel like oh they just worried about themselves and they yeah. you know this type of stuff right here but you can't save the world at one time mm -hmm. we can yeah. do it one at a time with each other by changing the mindsets yeah yeah you know of, and I'm, you can't satisfy everyone you can't no matter what you do you can't Hell, so. i ain't gonna try <laughs> i will be honest with you i have <laughs> shut down different yes. artists that wanted me i you Big ups to you. Yeah, I was just because thinking let me the tell same you thing. something. Ain't no way in something. hell I'm gonna yeah. give them my money. Yeah, I ain't for to give them my money. I ain't for to give them my time. <laughs> I can give them some. Uh, I give them some. What, what you can give them some advice. some love and yeah. advice. Yeah, advice. some love. You know. Right. But at the end of the day, it's just a. It's it's something about me with my trust issues with different people. Right. Because I've been burnt. I'd rather give it to you. Right. That's the way I do it. I right. just hear it. Take it. Nigga. Yes. Go. Go. Yes. Nigga. You don't owe me nothing. And this industry <laughs> and it creates. I'm being honest. Though. That's the way I am. Like I, you come over here and say, hey, E, will you manage me? I've had this happen a million times. Yeah. I said, look here, this is what I'm going to do. Here, you take that, but you go. 
Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And you can have it. He'd be like, man, he dope. No, yeah. nigga, I just paid you because I love you, but I don't yeah. want to put myself in a situation where it could be something toxic and yeah. me and you fall out. So and because it, it, it's rather, very stressful. I'd rather stressful. keep you. Yeah, yeah. I, I know it is. That's, yeah. that's why I commend you. Yeah. Because it's tough to try to deal with people. And, and actually, everybody not have, it's going to be issues. It's going to be problems. But you know, even the first church had issues. So yeah. you're going to have issues. You got to learn to deal with those. Yes. But it's which ones do I want to deal with? Right. Because I've been in business for many years so i know business yeah. but I, I definitely love rois i don't play around it got to right. be coming back i got to be able to flip right. i gotta say this year is 10 i want 20 and i'm gonna have 50 yeah. by this time. i can't deal with it with no mirage where i don't know and you giving me a scope nigga i'm gonna be famous when nigga i got my money now you know what i'm saying i want to know what's going on you know well i'm telling nigga all you got to do is just put up the money and yeah. we gonna get it it's gonna be streams yeah. and everything yeah. I'm a nigga like well, nigga I got money now why would I do yeah. that unless and I know yeah. it's a hit and so the and how much you got the, nigga? Dif the difference <laughs> with me is is that I guess it's, I can see that but that's what makes me separate from most I yeah. feel like um, my gift I almost died in 2020 wow the last week of 2020 wow I was I had a 30% chance of living wow in the ICU fighting for my life how COVID-19 mm. wow so it's almost like God said you almost got out of here without me touching you but I got to touch you before you leave this wow. this year that's dope and so it changed it really really changed me then you I know because I was in there fighting for my life like man if I if I die and don't make it out because they were literally preparing me for that the mm. doctors was mm. um, and my nurses and if I don't make it out of here none of this matters like right now money don't matter Nothing matters. I can't even see my kids, my husband. Nobody can come visit me. I was in that room by myself with me and just nobody but God, you know. So mm. it changed the way I looked at money. Mm -hmm. It changed the way that I looked at materialistic things. I like that, it. That, you know what I'm saying? So my gift and my, I think my sacrifice for my life was telling the Lord that if you leave me here long enough to see my sons, okay. Because I wasn't I wouldn't at peace with, with yeah. them. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, my husband would have been okay, okay. But my mom... Mm -hmm. And I said, I want to affect lives. Mm -hmm. I don't want to just, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be the only one climbing. I want to at least affect lives or put people in position to where they can do stuff differently. No. So what is my part in that? And I believe that he heard my cry and he left me here with that. And so we were able to go forward with my first year in my first business mm -hmm. in the tax company. And my company grossed over a million five the first Let's year. Let's get it. Yeah, the money is good right there. Y'all yeah. heard that number? A million and five. You niggas can't count. <laughs> carry the one. You got to carry the one, nigga. If you carry the one, you can figure it out. You, know? and you, know you got what? to carry the one. Yeah. I think the pandemic did a, did a lot of that for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. It helped us. Yeah. It, it, but, you know, the one thing I do pray, I pray about the fact that a lot of people feel that way now, but yeah. give it a year or two and everybody be go back, back to, to normal. Back to, yeah, yeah. I'm like, we need to treasure what we went through and... Not materialistic stuff. Yes. The mm -hmm. ones that we love. Because what pandemic did for us is that, you know, you're so fast paced trying to get, you know, build a future for your kids. Cause you're thinking about that. But yeah. at the same time, you're not spending all that time and quality time in your kids. Cause yes. Money is not everything. You need to build the memories. Because when I lost my dad, I realized that I remembered the fishing trips, the hunting trips. Yes. The, the, you know, because I was a tomboy. Yeah. So I did all of that stuff with my dad. Yeah. And I... I couldn't. I wouldn't trade that for any amount of money mm -hmm. in the world because wow. that's what I treasure. You know yes. what I mean? And God, yes, people do get Alzheimer's, but you know you have a few percentage. So when you lose everything, you don't lose your memory. No. And even with people who have Alzheimer's, they remember back in the days. They yeah. remember when they were a kid. They remember mm -hmm. certain stuff. They don't just lose everything. They mm -hmm. don't. You know what I mean? So those are the things that we need to treasure. Well, you know, um, I could tell a story. But I was <laughs> Y'all niggas went deep. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. My story would be totally different. My story would be really throw like my daddy worked the hell out of me and it, it wasn't, yeah. wasn't no damn I, I mean I see him when I see him you know what I'm talking yeah. about the nigga was crazy and so yeah. that's a whole different ball yeah. game but I, but I still learned integrity yeah. and it, I, built it, built you, right? it, yeah, it built a lot character and everything it did it built a uh, yeah it built a lot <laughs> muscles <hell. laughs> nigga all pup wood all yeah. kind of stuff No, nah, it's different you know where yeah. I'm coming from so yes. uh, those are different type guys you know having to sneak to the outhouse at night see people yeah. don't realize what I went through yeah. I come from a place where there was no electricity yeah yeah so I know about really, really yes. going through it. 
You know what I'm saying? So it's a whole. Di- you know where I'm coming from. Yes. Being from the country, we, we you know had what I'm houses, having the, yeah. chicken coop, yeah, had a chi- yeah. everything. Yeah, we got to try to keep this water going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. From the well, yeah. warm it up, all this old yes. stuff with a washboard. Yeah, you hear me, with girl? the washboard. Ain't that a damn yeah. shame? I'm so glad y'all didn't have to go through that. Yeah, me too. Boy, cause y'all don't <laughs> even know, man. It was a different world back then. It was, and 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 you know where I'm coming. But from. But it forced us to have to get to know each other personally outside of like what they have that's crippling them is helping and it's yeah. crippling them at the same time which is social media yeah social media gives them the, the the fingertip everything at their fingertips but at the same time it takes away communication skills yeah for them yeah. to know how to yeah. talk to people how to address people yeah how to sit here and resolve issues right. without embarrassing people on a wide scale no 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 real talk you know so that's what I say social social media can help but then it hinders if yeah. you mistreat it if you misuse it for what it's intended for but ain't that life in that general, is so though? true think yeah. about that, that for a second so that's yeah. life you, what you're explaining yeah cause that was a time when when, when you know uh, this the beeper, hell. yeah it, it helps some things yeah. yeah yeah the beeper mm-hmm. you know you didn't you text do it you put I think it was 304 for ho. I that's got that 304 for ho. 911, you better call me back that's right, right now. Yeah, that's, you right. that's right. So I used to pay my, yeah. my beeper bill down on Hearn Avenue back yeah. then in the days. And what I'm saying is that was a different time. And you yeah. may have to stop at a phone booth. Yeah. But it still was challenges during that time mm-hmm. as well. I think life is... Hey, man, ain't nothing new under the sun. It ain't. Everybody, we try to make it, fancy it up and make it different, yeah. but it's the same old thing. And and, and reinventing things is what people do and it make is. billions of dollars. It but is. in everything you do, you're going to have the people who turn something positive into a negative. You have people, when you post something, you have people who go on specifically to put something negative on your, yeah. on, yes. under your post. Yes. And they just meddling. Yes. They want to create clout. They want to create problems. So you're going to have that. Just like people say with cell phones, you know, somebody could have a wreck out here. Yeah, and then all of a sudden everybody picking up their phone to video Not even instead, help. instead of going to help. help. Yeah. But then they're good and bad with with certain things like that because if you didn't videotape police brutality as much as yes. you know you're not standing up for it we wouldn't be able to get certain have things the proof. changed and have yeah. the proof yeah. you know what I mean so a lot of things are changing where that is concerned and yes it's not changing overnight but it's going to take a long 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 time to change but it is changing because of stuff like that Yeah. I like the way we get in here and we start talking about different things I, we going to get to everything that we need <laughs> to get to but we going to talk about things that can help somebody yes. that's the most important thing these microphones are powerful yeah. and people hear them and, and you know they they, they they hear you and they they want to know how to get out their situations you know right. uh, a lot of people can't get out don't right. know how to do it and i know they can't get out because they're getting in my damn dm talking about they next and yeah. i'm like nigga you ain't next because if you were next nigga you wouldn't be I on my already DM. know it yeah nigga quit dming me like yeah. this i don't know yeah. what y'all trying to do yeah. you ain't gonna force me to do anything right. and that's so. that's the mindset though of a lot I, like i experienced um being threatened, mm. you know, my life, my son's life, when, when they when they lash out, and most of yeah. it be, and I'm going to say this uh, uh, soundly, it be the influence of drugs that yeah. have their yeah. mindsets mm-hmm. yeah. like mm-hmm. that, and then yeah. so then when they spaz out, they're not in their right mind, and then when they come back to their right mind, they come, come back, and they're like, well, I didn't mean it, but then you've said this widespread on social media. You've yeah. said this stuff to where other people out there that really cherish me, my yeah. sons and stuff, it's not going to be received well. Yeah. You know, and they everybody's on like the music they need to learn to separate street shit from music yeah you know because you don't have to be in a gang to be on a music label you know what i'm saying and that to to get the opportunity to do music at a higher level if you take it serious for what it's supposed to be meant for music's supposed to bring us together it's supposed to make you feel good it's a therapy everybody who's been on here Artists would say it's a therapy. If I didn't have music, I would I'd probably be on the street. Yes. I'd probably be doing this. So it's a therapy for a lot of people. It's definitely an extension of who they are. Exactly. You know, and to have somebody, and, and you're not going to always con- con- connect with everybody. Everybody's music is not meant for everybody. No, no it's exactly. some trash you know, out there too, though. Yes, it's a don't lot try of trash. To, don't try to play me, you know. <laughs> you know damn well. <laughs> Now come on but now. But even with that trash, I you want to say that yeah, somebody. Yeah, real. <laughs> no, it's some trash out in every city. And they and I'll tell them in a nice way, but then when you, when they ask, then it's like, oh, they don't want to receive the truth. So, but right. you'll go pay somebody four or five states away. You'll spend thousands of dollars to go just for somebody to finesse you, yeah, out of your money because that's what it's gonna be. Yeah, you know, especially if you're trash. And because your homeboys, them too afraid to tell you to sit your ass down, they yeah. gonna ride with you to well, the he end. he got a little money. 
Yeah. He the so, one with the little money. Yeah, so and they know the shit ain't It ain't a lot. He just, he giving them a little ride. These niggas ain't got a car. He just, he got these niggas. He done built his own fan base. <laughs> these niggas in the car, they ain't got no gas money. I know this is what yeah, they're doing. Yeah. But, you know, it, and they telling them what they want to hear. Yeah. They they massaging it just the way they wanted to be massaged. Exactly. And then, okay, now you go take this to Mama Scott. She looking yeah. at you like, what the hell is this? Yes. But a homeboy like, yeah, nigga, we did a video. Yeah. We just oh, did really? a show up here. Yeah, with who, <laughs> my nigga? <laughs> with who? Like, like yes. yeah, and don't try to unfollow me. Let me tell yeah. you, Mama Scott. Yeah. I watch people. I don't play that now. <laughs> listen now, don't listen. I don't give a damn what I say yeah. on this mic. Yeah. Don't try to unfollow don't me. Unfollow I will me. pull up in Longview. Yeah. I will pull up in East. I find Journey. I go over there. I find your sons. I don't care. I don't, wouldn't dare listen, unfollow man. you. Don't unfollow me. You know, I know niggas getting mad at yeah. folks. That's yeah. what they do. They That's unfollow what they you. Do. Yeah, I, I ain't. I used to be have been people didn't come on the show. I didn't unfollow them. If they said stuff, yeah. I didn't unfollow them. Yeah. Look, we family. I'm gonna yeah. love you through it. Through I don't it. give a damn what you going through. That's right. We going through it together. If you yeah. mad, okay, you yeah. just be mad for a while because yeah. we gonna figure it out. I, I actually that that's kind of like touching on me on some stuff. I had unfollowed a guy. He's a podcast podcast guy. No trio pill talk. You know, I know I, you want me to call that nigga. No, I called that nigga on road with him. No, I would call that nigga up. But I you know, followed him back. You hear me? But I, I called them though. You know, so I'm gonna touch on that a little bit. And that's that's about like when you are in a position like y'all, y'all yeah. are the voice and y'all are building and people respect that. And when you're an artist, like that means something for somebody to yeah. really give you your credit when you working your yeah. ass off. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, cause this is a hard industry. It's not yeah. respected by a lot of people, especially when you get to be a certain age. They like, yeah. oh, yeah. he ain't doing nothing but yeah. music. He's trying to be a rapper, 40 years old type shit. But it, that's, it's, it means the world to them. You, you know what I'm saying? Tell me. Right. It's their everything. Right. So my, my biggest thing was there was a list that had came out and this is so. Girl, I'm sick of y'all need that. But I list. love the list. The list. Hey man, thank you Jesus for I don't the make list. no I list. I love the list. But it's just an opinion. Boy, that is it's fun just someone's opinion. Boy, opinions. when these niggas don't make that list. And it's the same thing when people get on people's posts and say that, you know, stuff, you're not good or you're good or whatever. It's the same thing. So, but it, it's not really even so much as the list. Sometimes to me, it's about who the list come from. Yeah, okay. that damn list, You know, boy. you know so when Ooh. you are a podcast, you know, and you are in a position to where the public is really, uh, you have an influence mm -hmm. on what you say, mm -hmm. which means that if you're a podcast, you connected with real life street stars. You know, I know bigger, all these bigger, You know, bigger people, and they have masses of people that look yeah. at that. So it means something. That's business, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Right. So if you're going to go by a podcast and you're going to put a list out there, make sure your stats is right. And yeah. don't just base it on, oh, he ain't from, you know, because my son just want to, Paul, oh, he ain't from no damn before. Texas. He ain't yeah. getting on that list. I know what happened. That's exactly Tra what happened. Trump called me about that, and and you know he called me about a lot of stuff. Yes. You got to realize I'm 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 real heavy. Right, and I, I know love I know Lady. everybody. Everybody's mamas and everybody know me. Yes. You I, I age of from more. East Texas. They gonna know yes. he, he used yeah. to come through here. So, to, to, to I tell. And I try to tell Trill not to post certain things. It don't work. It don't work. But I still tell him, Mike, don't do that. Man, hell no. Don't yeah. do that. Or he'll do it. And I'll be like, man. But he's but, a good guy. But he is oh, own yeah, guy. He is. he is own man. I love yeah. that about him. And he go hard for East yeah. Texas. And, 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 and it's needed. And yeah. I have called three or four other people yeah. trying to get them to blog down there. Yeah. Trying to get them, you know, to, because that's what helps the whole movement. Yeah, East Texas and, is lit and right now. And nigga won't even listen. All yeah. other ones, I'm telling they want to get on Facebook and Instagram and talk crazy. On lives, nigga, make a blog. Get, get, try to yes. help the artists. Try to help the artists, and, and, and they don't do it. So no. you know, but, but with that being said, we ended up speaking. You know, what I'm saying, and he, he told me his side, and I told him. But that's what it's about. If if I'm too heated, I'm not gonna. You know, I've had to learn that because normally I, you know, yeah. I'd be on that. But yeah. I had to learn like Pop Johnson. So you go out a nigga on that. social media. <laughs> it, that's right. why she do it. E. She outs you on social media. She gonna say something about I'm you. I'm a tag. I'm a subliminal. I'm a tag. But you see, we spoke about that the other day on the show to too. That. I don't yeah. remember who we were speaking to, but more people need to not. Um, flare out on social yes. media. Pick up the phone and call somebody yes. because you can make a, a simple situation and escalate it. so much higher because a lot of times it's communication problems. Yes. It's you said something and I perceive it Wrong. as something I didn't yeah. like, but you didn't mean it in that way. Right. So pick up the phone. But you have some people who you pick up the phone to call somebody and they'll, they just won't answer you and right. continually not answer you. Right. So some people feel like, you know what, you don't want to answer me, I'm going out you. Right. Let social me just media. be honest with you, Mama Scott. If you come up here and do my show and Take me to lunch. I'll make a list. 
You know what I'm talking about? Uh, <laughs> eat after the podcast. <laughs> nah, I got a to do. Boss, show will go. My partner feed me. He on the restaurant in L.A. Oh, yeah? And I'm supposed to go. Yeah, I got to let you meet him one day. All right. Yeah, we was together yesterday, and he wanted to come back together again. Just love him to death, man. Yeah. Keep on feeding no but, but that's, you know that's, that's kind of like, you know, when I bring that up, you know, and that's folks, because I know this would be seen or whatever, I try to tell them, you know, because... What they think is is not important to somebody, it affects yeah. these young people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They, yeah. they be hurt. They be feeling, you know, fucked up because, damn, if my numbers is here, and this is my thing, I don't feel, I hate the geographic shit. Like, if it doesn't matter to me um, where we are as blacks, you know mm-hmm, what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, we go through enough out there with the whole world, like, yeah. but we'll put ourselves in a box behind geographic location mm-hmm. when at the end of the day, it's supposed to be our Black Lives Matters, power to the people shit, but we are our worst enemies based on where we come you, from. You're right, you're right, but, <clears throat> you know, I had, I know a lot of people. Yeah. But when I went, I went with East Texas yes. at first. Y'all didn't see yeah. that? Yeah. I know you niggas seen that. Yeah, we seen Watch that. Watch the damn channel if y'all ain't seen it. Go back <laughs> and a lot of East Texas Google me. Yes. I went East home Texas first, artists. and nobody was doing that before. Now, I yeah. see them doing it. They trickling now. Yeah. Oh, I don't play. When yeah. I go, I go. Yeah. So I know what it was going to do yeah. when I did it. And we appreciate so, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went first. I said, yeah. yeah. We, now, now, Trill was doing it down there, yeah. but when I came into it, and I called him, boy, your mama, yeah, come on, let's do this, you know. Actually, and actually, before him, I'm going to give homage to It was to, another to guy down household there. Household TV. That's your, that's your hometown people, ain't it? Uh, household TV. Yeah, they, they from? No, no, it was somebody else who... Uh, Charleston was on Press that box. Press box. That's in Henderson. That's your people. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. I know bar, that's your people. Yeah, bar. That's my that's my blood folks out there in Henderson. They yeah. don't even know that. Yeah, yeah. But um, he came up with Press Box. Okay. And, and then you have, but before that, it was Household TV with yeah. Patrick yeah. Jackson yeah. and his crew, that's Sam good. and Rod. How they doing? They're they're not doing, t- uh, I guess, a lot of active stuff right now. But uh, hopefully they'll come to Fast Bash and try to get it together because they covered Fast Bash for the first two years. For well, me. they need to, they need to come on with it. Yeah. You know, everybody. But it's, it's several needed. it's several of them out there, yeah. you know. But but take over TV, Jeff. I think he took it to a higher level, level or whatever, yeah. and he came home too and, and supported, even though he's in Louisiana. Yeah, yeah. But he from Longview. He from Longview. Yeah, bro, come on back home, nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, yeah, Jeff, me, bring your butt something. back home, nigga. <laughs> yeah, you all in street, but they got enough people in street, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> but let me say something. Um, I always go back to how you perceive certain yes. things. Because if you change your mind, change your thinking, you can change the outcome. Yes. And when I say that, even when you go to the list, everything happens for a reason. Yes. And yes, you can't satisfy everybody in whatever you do. Yeah. So whoever got left off the list should be like, you know what, I'm going to show you. Use it as yeah. a motivational tool yeah. to say, you know what? I'm going to show yeah. you what I'm going to do. And you're absolutely I right. I think what I'm going to do, and I ain't mean to In a positive y'all, way. In a positive way. These niggas is coming out with lists. I had the gatekeeper boy on here to list. Yeah. Uh, shout out to uh, Mogul Media. Yeah. And uh, Trio, these niggas with the list. And and, and da- Dallas Global. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Eric, Sean Cotton. I'm going to start doing a weekly list thing. I'm not making no damn list, though. Yeah. No, sir. Not going to yeah. make no list because I don't really, I don't want to gauge it off of that. I love everybody. So right. I don't want to miss nobody. You know, Grandma, she feed everybody. Because there's so up. many of them out there, we're going to miss somebody. Did you right. hear what I just said, right. Grandma? Do Grandma, if, if she was here now, she'd feed all y'all. Unless and you're going to drive wild. from town yeah. to town to, so to I can't see. Do it like but, that. but back to your, to your comment <laughs> right. and, or whatever. When he particular, because Journey made the list and Journey. she deserved to be on shouldn't the list. Shouldn't have been on that damn <laughs> list. She shouldn't have been on that list. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because she got a song with Run and she make the yes. list. I don't like but that. But honestly, all yeah. my artists deserve to be on that I list. You know it, what I'm man. saying? I'm just yeah. going to go and just put it out there. Fast you Entertainment, s- take up the whole hey, man. top row in my opinion. Hey, but, man. You know, that's that's me bragging because I believe in what I put myself in. You, you know, should, and that's you, what it as is. you should. And, but I still believe in others. But when he was overlooked on that one due to the fact that him not being born in East Texas, but he's been here for going on four or five years. Um, real life street. Wait, wait, street wait a minute, what did yeah. you say? You put, him in a he put me on the pole. I won the pole before the list. And really? That's all I was you know, yeah. y'all definitely pay close attention because, boy, I be just, I'm glad. I'm the never, night before. So, you, yeah, I remember that, too. <laughs> I, I remember the poll. I remember that. So, don't put him on no polls. No, 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 no. We putting his ass on the polls. You <laughs> if know you're what not going to give him his props, no, no, no. don't put no, him no, no, on no, no, no. polls. I think, I, think the, I think the whole thing is, every. I don't think even it be bad intentions. I think it just be trying to calculate things and 
maybe somebody you don't even think about because it's just a thought. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's the, and you processing this, trying to make sure you get this list out and do it right. But I get where y'all coming yeah. from, too. Especially, especially when you got an artist that goes as hard as my team, you know, because it's not I just him, it's the whole it's team. It's you, hell. But, no, no, you on the video. <laughs> no, it ain't just them. You know what I'm saying? I'm waiting for you to drop a verse on that thing. <laughs> okay, okay, maybe maybe this is what they should do. Maybe they should do this. They should do, um, do the poll where they have like a list of names. Yeah. Every, all the artists. And make it be people's choice. Yeah, and let and them make, vote. Make them vote. That's what so he won then, the night before. That's what he did. But how many people, how many he people won did it he by have? a landslide. But how many people did he have on the list? Who you beat? Oh. Trying to drink like oh, you just. Oh, oh you don't know who they didn't beat. Y'all know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Right, so I'm trying to figure out how many people he, did he have on that poll before. It was like maybe six to eight artists or whatever. No, but I'm talking like, because I'm sure there's more than six to eight artists yes, down there. But yes. I'm talking like you get everybody mm -hmm. who is down there in East Texas and say, okay, we're picking the top ten that's on the list yeah. or whatever. And... Tally up the numbers. That should Who, that should be the way it should be done, cause then it's unbiased. But but exactly. one thing I can't say without Trill Talk, Peel Talk doing the list, there would not be a list. Right. But now, there's been other lists. No no no, his list count a lot more. It does because he, he working hard. Yeah he's he and I give hard. him that and he's so still my that's friend. Why, I know that. <laughs> I know that. But, but still, but you got to think about this. It's gonna always be biased no matter what. Cause uh, even doing it like that, know. guess what? I'm gonna call all my friends and tell them. Make sure you click on that and click yeah. my name. Yeah. So like it's gonna it, always if be biased no matter list, what. If you do make the list, if he don't, if he make the list, then go off about journey. I make yeah. the list. If he don't make it, go off about the other. Yeah, that's just we a don't, part we of don't, it. We don't. We don't. This. This is the thing. I was angry at first, only because of I'm looking at artists that was not active, artists that now that this, hear it. me out, artists that haven't dropped an album. Since heck was a puppy type shit. <laughs> now, nah. see, you can't say that. Cause, nah, now, I'm listen, listen, let me tell you something. <laughs> Roe was on here and Roe had, yeah. he had hard living from three years ago. So, man, my thing ain't supposed to be going. I got that hard living. And, then, and I don't care if I, yeah, hard living. Yeah, he didn't yeah. care about no damn recent yeah. work at all. Yeah, but he's been dropping, he's been doing recent no, no, too. No, no, no. We know about Big Baby, yeah. but he was talking about that yeah. hard living, nigga. But he got even but that stuff hard living outside go hard of that, too, though. though. That he, damn hard living you, go What hard. I mean by that is, is like, you got to show me, like, I know Roe be working yeah you can't nobody de 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 deny that period can't nobody deny artists like uh the, the seco uh, right? can't, can't nobody yeah. can't nobody deny shan dixon and what she's doing with uh my baby uh what's Guala, his name Guala P. Guala P. Guala P. Oh, you know uh smitty hawkins you know you got people that's out here working journey smoothie, smoothie. yes <laughs> all of those guys are working so how could you not give them homage? You know, even EXO, with her not being just in East Texas, she's still out here moving around. You okay. know what I'm saying? So you can't just leave certain ones out and just be like, nah. It's hard dealing with you niggas. I wouldn't yeah. make no LD, list. You can't make uh, no list. I ain't Tim. doing no damn list. Yeah, y'all yeah. niggas ain't gonna be happy. Y'all like the children they don't need of Israel. No list like then. the children of Israel when they went out into the wilderness. <laughs> y'all want some bread. I want, yeah, you know I, I'm not doing it. I rep the entire East Texas region and all of them mean the world to me. you. I get it. You know what I'm saying? And it, it. and it hurts me to see us not get the formula. And you they wonder what? why we so far behind is because they don't know how to push. Everybody's pulling. Yeah. You can't pull and expect you to have momentum and then expect other cities to respect us when we not even together ourselves. You know, so that's what the deal is. If you got certain artists in certain cities that deserve that, stop hating on those artists and push those artists so that these other cities can gain that respect for wow. us. Wow. You know what I'm wow. saying? They're not going to respect us if we're not respecting us. You know what? That you, You're That's absolutely true. right. So, I agree. But, again, you're going to have internal things that happen between family members when you're in a sect like that. Absol so absolutely. So it just don't pose to go outside of there. That's what right. I like about Atlanta. When you, when you see how they move, yes. they may have differences, but they don't go outside broadcasting They stick it together. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And you know they don't like each other. They still can be in the same place, yeah. and they still focus on the music, and that's where we need to be. That's the formula. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to focus on the music. That's what making it all happen. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And Even all the way down to... Let me see some country. What you got? Some skin? Uh -huh. Yeah. Even all the way down. damn skins on my show. This is the first time ever, guys. Stop the press, nigga. Stop the damn press. She got some damn pork rinds on this thing. Uh, we country you know as hell. So, so, I'm proud. Sergeant, Sergeant uh, B and Sergeant J. He Ma got the fresh Now, they're supposed to bring the food truck up here Friday. 
And uh, yeah, yeah, you done popped the damn skins out. Mm-hmm. On. We were trying to do it official. You countrified it. <laughs> so hell. hold on, hold on. You brought the skins, but is that your brand of skins? No, this I wish it was. I might need to because that's that. the thing. If you bring in something, it needs to be your brand. It needs to be yeah, my brand. Well, let's yeah, not yeah. see what they yeah, brand yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Plus, plus, no, them you damn things. Stick it right on the front and be like, that's yours. That's dope, man. We got called country. Now, I, I messed with Wayne Rider, too, because we had to connect with Mo3, mm-hmm. okay? Yeah, I seen that. I was going to ask so, you about that. Yeah, I, I didn't just really blast him because, I mean, I was in the post, but he would always hop over me to talk to somebody else. So I, I respect the fact that he respect me mm-hmm. to not even address me. Who is that? Know, Rainwater. Okay. Okay, but the only problem, what he said was right about to a what? certain degree when he said that... He about don't really, what? Like we don't stick together. That's oh, like, that part. Not yeah. about he don't listen to country. Right? No. I don't play no, that. No, 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 no. If it be a whole <laughs> problem up in his own. when he when he was saying like y'all people don't even support y'all people type stuff. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, he, he I didn't made see that, that post. When yeah. did he do that? He did it live on somebody's podcast or something. I don't Probably remember. Probably real tune or something. But I know uh, Trill Peel Talk was he was on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I seen the part when he said yeah. But he he was going hard for East Texas. Shout out to him. Yeah. But at the same time, like. Just don't demean us to the point to where because we're in East Texas, we got to be considered like we dumb or we some type of ignorant, you know, mindsets because we're not. We know better. You know what I'm saying? So Like something is wrong with being yeah, country. Because, there's yeah, nothing because there's wrong nothing wrong with, with that because country. you don't came and got plenty of country money from us. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So don't get full of yourself. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. So yeah. we all got to remember where we came from. We never know where we're headed. But we know where we come from. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So don't forget that. You know, yeah, and that's my thing. And Rory. I respect him for what he's doing because Rainwater works really hard. Well, Rainwater is a, I mean, he does his thing as a yeah. manager, as he should, as yeah. a manager. Yeah. Um, we got all type of managers out yeah. here, like yourself. Yeah. But you you the manager, then you're yeah. supposed to be reflecting things toward making yes. the artist better. It's about the music at the end of the day. The brand. I mean, the brand, mm-hmm. uh, the whole movement, everything should be focused on, on making it better. And and I, I believe, you know, Mo3 was a movement in itself. Yeah. So you got to realize how talented and how strong of a leader he was and what he was doing right. with the music as well. Um, but all uh, of this stuff is uh, all this stuff is written. God already got it. He yeah. knows. The and it's learning. Mm-hmm. It's, it's yeah. a learning experience. That's like right. I've never been a manager before. So everything I'm learning with my team, we're learning together as a whole. We yeah. make mistakes. We come back off the mistakes and try to do it different. But yeah, one dope. person, shout out to him, Sergeant B out of Texarkana. That's my boy He's right been there. one of the biggest ones behind the scene. Even though I get mad at him sometimes, he'll be like, Mama's got the brand. Yeah. The brand. Yeah, yeah. You don't need to be going back and forth. So yeah. I, he is one of the biggest ones that, that I know that yeah, chastises me he's when he dope. see me going left. So shout out to him. And, and his everybody should always have that somebody yeah. that, you know, they listen to and respect yeah. because sometimes you can have somebody who's saying something to you that yeah. is true, yeah. but because you don't really respect them, you're not going to listen to not them. Not going to listen. But that's good that you have someone that, you know, when they say that, you'd be like, okay, calm down. Yes. It's funny yeah. though. You let Rainwater uh, uh, say what he's saying and meant something. Uh, don't really mean nothing because the artist got to stay focused on the music they and the do. brand. So it really, when when somebody says something and it's not something that you agree with, if you let them rattle your cage, then you got shook out of your position. And that's yeah. what I was telling Trill Talk, no yeah. pill talk. And, and I need to hear that character. myself. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. You know? Don't let nobody ever trick you out of your position of your because character. you should be focused on, like Steve Madden up there on that picture with me. You know, yeah. when I meet him, I always say this every time we met him, it wasn't about controversy. These folks right. got business going on and everybody smiling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ain't it's nobody than tripping that. about nothing be- yeah. because we focused on trying to do something to help change lives. Yes. That's, That's what it's about. That's the biggest thing. Leaving legacy. That's right. Behind. Yeah. You know, it's not about and just I think that's what you're right. doing, yeah. man. And I it's mean, not even only that, dope. too. People don't understand. When you meet somebody, it could be whether it be a celebrity or somebody you see that may have a little bit more than you do. And not just to be... Um, frightened by the status and be like oh let me get a picture let me get it yes approach the person and say i want to know what you know yeah yeah that's me i'm with that i'm with that right there teach me something because i want to be i want to i want to learn yeah everybody should be in the status where i want to learn something and not just be like i want a a picture to go on social media and that's the biggest thing i feel like the opportunity that we had meeting sauce walker i didn't get him on the show this week but i'm gonna get him i gotta work harder He, I got to work he, hard. His I whole team. I see how they roll. You know, Maserati J, shout out to him. Son, everybody, Saucewood winning, everybody that we met. Shout out to the whole TSF, Miss Megan, because they really on the business side of it, like sitting down talking to them and then son giving me certain uh, 
it should uh, motivate you yes, to it, go it, research it, it, it made me learn. think a lot differently when right. I got around a team that's successful like them that's, that's independent mm -hmm. that's doing it for themselves that's because dope. it's even bigger than the music with them they are creating revenue in companies and they're doing stuff with investing the money that keep the money coming back in in a revolving type of way have you started making changes yes I have okay. <laughs> I, I started seen immediately something, seen something and um, not taking it implementing oh, yeah. different you things people that, see things right. and say things and yes. don't actually implement it so yeah. so yeah. with the, with the fast bash which is the, I'm about to, we about to talk yeah. about that but I want to ask you I'm going to go back to AJ1K okay. uh, and, and that pop my shit whose song is that is that is that's that AJ1K's song okay I wanted to make sure I, I try to figure <laughs> this out I thought it was your song nah but <laughs> The way you came, shit, no, 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 like when you came out, you know, like who is that? You know what I'm saying? But, but he I, actually pulled me in the video. No, you was kicking Walker. it, man. No, no, you belong in there. Yeah, but yeah. I'm just, I'm just really looking at the the song was great. The delivery was great. When I seen it, I was like, dang, that's 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 hot. Who shot right the there. video? What do you um, have video? T.O. 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 Yeah. That, so how do you? What's the? How did y'all? Well, I'll ask him that when I interview him. Okay. But, um, just the fact of you guys being able to pull something off like that, being a manager, how did you, how did that get lined up? Wow. Um, we had just came back from Atlanta and my phone rung and it was them. Okay. They and called you guys. They reached out to y'all. Yeah. Y'all working. <laughs> oh, boy. Me I and got Trini fly. was in the car. Oh, I got fly to here. <laughs> Who is this? And it was yeah. it was Miss Megan and then Sauce Walker was in the background saying, oh, wait. Oh, man. That's dope. <laughs> That's and uh, he wanted me to come that day. He was in Austin, and I was like, I just literally got down out the air. And I said, give me tomorrow. Wow. And so um, he was like, okay, well, let's work. Wow. So I got with 1K. They were still on the road, I think, driving when I called him and told him, y'all going to have to keep straight through or wow. just rest a little while. We got to go a little further. We got to go to meet Sauce Town. Man, that's dope, man. So we spent two days out there with him in Austin, him and his team. Wow. You know. That's dope. Yeah, but he's his, just his mindset and the way that he treated us and stuff like that, him sitting talking to me, uh, talking to my sons, my team, uh, letting them know that one of the biggest things that stood out with me, he told me, he said, I, Mom Scott, I, having you with them, like he told me that's prices because I didn't have that. That's it. That's you know? it. He said, so I don't have respect for women. He said, but you my mama now. <laughs> oh, already. No, no, no. But, I know, get it. He cool, you know, but. You guys got a hell of a thing going. Like I say, you guys are striding and doing things that people had never done in the community that you guys coming from, to be honest with you. Right. You should be very proud of that. You know what I'm saying? Because that's dope to have. Uh, moments where you dealing with people that's elite, you know, mm -hmm. that 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 really really put a staple in in what music is all about. The South has uh, really been overlooked. Y'all know I talk about that yes. a lot on this show, and and so we had to, you know, we had to really push our way through, kick the dough in, pressure. Yes. You know what I'm saying? We had to, we we as a as a as a whole, we got to stay on these these niggas' necks. Yes. Because see, they'll take it and run back somewhere else with it. Now I ain't gonna say East Coast or West Coast, but it really does boil down to the fact that we got to keep working, guys. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And and I don't like I tell people all the time, don't do the mumble rap thing. Yes. Don't don't come at us about no damn mumble rap yes. because this this you know damn well you can't out rap us. You can yeah. play that game with somebody else. Ain't no such thing as mumble rap. When we put it together, we put it together. That's right. And you just don't understand because you ain't from where we from. That's either. right. So right. at the end of the day, you're not for the dumb down nothing that we worked hard to establish. That's right. That's the way I go with mine. Yeah. I'm feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we work too hard to, to get in here for y'all to kick us out. That's why it's, that's why it's called, uh, when you get the collection of mindsets that are on the same path, then it's mm -hmm. unstoppable mm -hmm. when you join forces with like-minded people that mm -hmm. are headed towards the same goal. Right. And people are not full of themselves and everybody's wanting to see everybody win. Mm -hmm. That's what's massive. And yeah. I got a question when you talk about um, East Texas and stuff like that. Um, is it possible, because East Texas people love East Texas. Right. Um, it's just to get everybody in the same mindset, like what you're saying. Is it possible to go to, because you know certain people who are the heads of East Texas. Yes. Is it possible to go to these people and say, hey, let's create a committee? Hell, yeah, see, we want up now. Yeah. To um, <laughs> me. Whether, <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I mean, up under here, though. Much, much, much work is <laughs> out of, look, I done put in too much to, work, bro. Yes. I right. never. Yes. So we can and push. We need that. So we can push yes. East Texas the way in which we need to push it. Yes. And then when you see somebody who step out of line, maybe 
somebody in the committee is closer to that person than you might be that they can say okay let's go talk so you're not really trying to talk to so many people you just talk to the committee and then they branch off and right. with everybody else right because that you makes it I mean? less stressful exactly and I really that think structure. that you should do that yeah. and even we should do that up here in Dallas as well because I'm up a here lot too. of time yeah. on the show we talk about why is it that um, artists in Dallas have to travel and go to the outskirts of Dallas to perform and do all of that when in Dallas they don't really they get don't a get lot that of show money mm -hmm. but then you have they hiring people from out of town they to come, come in and here get and get the money from here yeah so I'm like that don't make no sense it doesn't uh, I say that all the time um, that's why I wanted to be a difference because I wanted to book East Texas artists or at least to start showing them that they're worthy. Yeah, yeah. Like, literally, most of the artists that I've seen outshine the ones that they book. Wow. Mm -hmm. In, literally, the ones mm -hmm. from right there in Longview, Tyler, uh, Mount Pleasant, wherever they're from. I get it. They go above and beyond, and then they don't even have the money coming into them being booked. Now, they can let them perform for free, but I'm talking about paying them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's where it starts, and that's where it changes, and that's what I did sort of as my initial part of going in that direction direction to just not only talk the talk but to walk it mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so i wanted to actually book east texas artists and Which show them sense. that they are worthy yes. of being booked in their own homes actually exo was one of the first ones i booked i booked and paid her three years ago me wow. and trilly awesome. for the nike party that's dope, that man. That's so we, dope. we started with that with her that's family that's there. She, yeah. she loved coming over here. This yeah. is where it's at right here for her. Yeah. She was she, my first paid book artist out of hey, East Texas. Hey, she dope, man. Um, I want to get to Fast Bash now. Okay. Yeah, now we can get to Fast right. Bash. I had to get my <laughs> stories out of you. You know, but Fast Bash, did, how did you guys, okay, you know, I hear these niggas talking, baby and all of them. These niggas stepping up with their little conversation. <laughs> yeah, these niggas, they, they want to talk about the Fast Bash. Yep. And, and and so this Fast Bash thing got them, got them talking. Yeah. You know, it costs money. These niggas coming. They, yeah, they, yeah, it costs money. Yeah. They ain't going to just jump on there and say, no, nah, I'm not crazy. Right. Oh, I'm a businessman. <laughs> There's something going down. Right. And, and and I heard Mama Scott was the key to it all. Yeah. Boy, I tell you, that's love right there. <laughs> you hear me? Yeah, I want to talk about that part. All you right. know what I'm saying? Just how did you establish this fast bash? Wow. Well, four years ago, we had a... Um, potential investor that okay. wanted to invest in fast entertainment, which at that time it consisted of my three sons and an artist named Ghost, which okay. is still part of us, but he's inactive right now. Mm. They wanted to invest and they came forward and they were saying they wanted to come to East Texas and put us out there because they wanted to put half a million dollars up under my sons. Mm -hmm. So my oldest son, like, you can't just bring them folks from Dallas down here like that. We ain't got nowhere for them to bring. Wow. you know. So we created Fast Bash, but we didn't make it just about us. Mm-hmm. We invited the whole city. We did a lineup. Um, they even gave away twenty prizes for uh, college students that year. They got they gave away ten five hundred dollar gift cards to college students going to school. So it was massive that first year. We had news coverage, newspaper coverage, and everything. So it really started out small, but just ended up. Whew, and, uh, and I feel like it was, yeah, I feel like it was like that because we was not selfish. Okay. okay. You know, and we included the whole city and, and others. And Trilly was a big part of that wow. too. You know, I have to always give him his kudos. You keep hollering that nigga name. He yeah, must be that's like my work. brother. Get some work out that nigga. Get some work out that nigga. Don't let that nigga sleep at all. Work that nigga. You know but he's saying? been there with me, you know what I'm saying? Good. Parallel that's good. through you a lot of that, stuff. Man. Yeah. So I'll never forget who right there beside me. I'll Moses never... had Aaron yeah. and you got him. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You gotta make it work. Yeah. Him and Mr. Scott, come out my husband by I heard all about means. him. Yeah. I heard I ain't seen yeah. him yet, yeah. but yeah, hey, don't come up here with no problems, man. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> right. Look, man, come up here now. Don't come here like no cabbage. All head and but, nobody. Yeah, that Scott name is behind my husband. That's beautiful, so, man. Yeah, that's you know, what it is. But, that's, uh, that's a good thing. But that's how it originally um, started, and then we just kept it up the next year. And then last year, we, of course, couldn't do it because of COVID. But like I say, this year was more important to me because I was blessed. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Because a blessing, of what happened yeah, with your life. Yeah, a blessing that I didn't even anticipate yeah, coming yeah. to me. So my, my mindset is different than most. I just look at I can't carry none of this stuff with me. I'm going to be okay, and I'm going to make sure mine is okay. But the overflow... I wanted to put that back into my people That's beautiful. and do something that has never been done for East yeah, Texas, which yeah. is not charging them. Yeah. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Still making it be affordable for families yeah. to come out and enjoy yeah. Fast Bash, mm -hmm. but putting us in a better venue in, inside. We did it in the park for two years straight yeah, yeah, in yeah. the heat 
for yeah, nine yeah. hours a day and we yeah. had no incidences. We had Bloods, Crips, everybody wow, in the park. That's dope. And because of the respect I feel that they have for me mm -hmm. and the team and, and what I what our goal was as a movement, we didn't have any issues. Mm. And it drew people together. Even people that was at odds with each other, it, it solved so many problems. In a city which was Longview, aka Murderview at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That it resolved a lot and it started all that stuff started kind of going away Man, God even though good. we experienced still stuff from time to time it's nothing like the 19 unsolved murders that we came into when I came on the scene yeah yeah I get it you know what I'm saying and I'm gonna say that so I'm never big enough I think I had people that was taking me wrong <clears throat> or anticipating that I was coming in saying oh I did this first we did this first that's never been my goal they yeah. don't even know you and they judge you you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah, so yeah. I never said we did it first. I'm saying when I came on the scene, it was dead. No, no, what, I'm I'm telling, say that. what I'm telling you is to be strategic about what you're doing because God didn't bless you with it for you to deny him. That's right. So you need to let people know yes, that my you story. are standing up, doing things so that yes. people will know there is a structure. It is. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I can't manage a, hundred, a city of 80,000, you know yeah, what I'm saying? But yeah. at the end of the day, they should be able to look like I'm looking at your podcast yeah. and seeing that y'all are structured and how you're doing. You yeah. should be able to look at people without envy and learn from them. Exactly. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, without, Because yeah. y'all get up every day and do this. Nobody's making this happen but y'all exactly you know what i'm saying so people will envy you and they'll sit on their ass and not do nothing that's right but then they'll want to reap the harvest behind the work that yeah. others are doing yeah. that's not cool you got to put the work in man what you talking man we've been out six months we got over 120 episodes out every yes, day it comes work. out you got to put that work in you do you can talk or you could be you could be about it or you could talk about it which mm, one you gonna do yeah. you know what i'm saying but so so this bass you got let me tell you something i wrote a <laughs> list down you got little runny yes bugatti casino yes muddy casino yes with it sancho saucy yes lucas tech yeah you got man of course aj 1k he ain't yeah. gonna get no money or nothing yeah. he, just son, he ain't getting nothing he is not getting nothing he just gotta be there get himself there and sit down until we get ready to talk to him you know, don't come in here like you don't know that we doing this boy you know what i'm talking about <laughs> nigga you 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 as good as them yes. but don't don't you do, don't do this yes. <laughs> so is there more i missed some names i'm pretty those sure those are my five headliners okay uh and the reason why they're booked is because i personally have relationships relationships with all okay. of those and tech i don't as of yet i had a relationship like i've i've gone to know his mom keitha is his my manager okay so we had that in common me and her and i was like man you manage tech she said yes yeah, my son so we started talking behind Roll the scenes Ro is he's on the East Texas. He's one of my booked East Texas artists. Okay, that I'm gonna say uh, yeah. he's so a paid East no, Texas no artist. No Guala P. <laughs> Guala P will be out of town that weekend. Yeah, I'm pretty and sure. P. He's gonna town. be out of town. They right there together. Hell, yeah. I ain't crazy. I've, I've talked to both of them. Okay. I have personally okay. spoke to both of them. So, okay. Yeah. 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 So, but Smitty Hawkins is on there. Smitty Hawkins is on yeah, there. Yeah. Al D. Smoothie ain't on Smitty. there. That's my nigga right there. Al D. Coming. <laughs> that nigga. That boy. That nigga can rap. That's who Trilly. You know Trill talking. No pill talk put this thing out. He got 10 rappers. And them niggas in Dallas, they said what they said. And the Houston <laughs> niggas said what they said. And the whole time, I, I said, nigga, don't do this now. But then I thought about Al D. I said, boy, that nigga gonna be a problem for whoever he going <laughs> You know, you start looking at yeah. the ones that he putting, you yes. know, you start thinking about it, And it's just something to think about. It can yeah. happen. My other co-host was like, set it up. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Bigger up. bag, yeah. Tim. So, yeah. It's some heavy weighters, yeah. man, down there. I love what's going on with the yeah. music. And it is a competitive there, thing. There are a couple that I, I wish could have made the, the, yeah. the lineup and stuff like that. But due to irreconcilable differences sometimes or things that in the past sometimes it's not best for them to be premiered but we still rock with them we still support them mm -hmm. uh, one of the people he, he's still doing massive work I want to give him a shout out and let him know that we still rocking with him and that's Camp Nowhere he's massive yeah, out of I heard his Texas I used to manage him as well, but his career and me separated. Yeah. You know, so, but we still wish him the Ain't best. Ain't nothing you wrong with that. You have this every year, right. so yeah. there's always possibilities as long as they keep pushing that they can always be back on yeah. there and all yeah. the time. But, but not yeah, only so. that, let me let me say this about people in, in, in evolution. Yeah. You know, sometimes, and, and I say this a lot on this show, man, everybody not going to be with you every time. No. And I'm going to tell you something, some of these same people could not, it may, may, may end up getting something bigger and greater. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah. I, I've learned to let people walk in and out of my life. Here, being here for 15 years, I gave people opportunity. Yeah. If you go back and look at my Instagram, I don't erase nothing. You'll see the same thing you're doing right yeah. here. I did this for years. Yeah. I took people, bought people flights, took people everywhere. Yeah. She was with me. I worried to death. I worried to death. <laughs> I worried her. Baby, she didn't know what was going on. That nigga got 
got 10 people with him, but at the end of the day, you give opportunity. Right. But one thing about it, as things evolve, some of them work for Lamborghini and all type yeah. of stuff. Now, you, you're able to see that. And that's, yeah. that's, that's what it's all well, about. Well, it, it's, it's lines to it, though, because you can see, you know, some of my sons, like, it's it's lines to it. You ain't gonna get rid of now so, one of them niggas. No, I'm not. But <laughs> but at the end of the day, there's lines to it because you're not gonna let nobody threaten her life and oh, expect no, it no, to be no, okay. No. You know, no, 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 no. Or try to just publicly demean you or destroy what you've built. And yeah. that's been the case of some of the so people. So yours that, get a little little rougher. Yeah, they get real rough. Yeah. You know, yeah. and then I have male the and I have male factor sons, you know, that are grown and sometimes because of me, you know, it frustrates they them as artists because they yeah, feel like mom, you mama. keep saving them and then we're we're not on that. You know, yeah, but yeah. they they poke at them. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's hard. It's, I get it's, it. I it's, it's very that. hard being a mother and then their manager at the same yeah. time and then them being male factors and because they not in the streets where people think they they think they're not no punks. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing, like they ain't no bitch in them at all. But one thing I can say though, let me stop you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, wait yeah. a minute. They have done it. Yeah. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> How many kids do you have? You only have the two boys. I have a total of nine children Damn. with my husband. Hold together. Hold on, hold on, together. Hold on. How many kids you gave birth to? Two. Just two. Oh, okay. okay. I'm gonna say, my nice. mama Scott get it done. <laughs> <laughs> I have two biological. biological. That's dope. Yeah. Okay. That's and then dope. I have two sons that I adopted out of Stop Six here in Fort Worth. Man, that's dope. Uh, we that's was over how, there yesterday. Yeah, that's how me and Bugatti end up getting a bun because wow. of my children. Um, and then I have, because he's actually my godson, Muddy's my godson. Wow. And um, the two that you have, those are the only ones in music? Yes. No, and then AJ1K is my stepson. Oh, okay. Him and my oldest son have the same father. Okay. So he's been in my life since he, he was a little bitty person, too. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I got you. I, got you. I hate to say it, Mama Scott, but you're you going to be one of these grandmamas. Everybody going to be over your house. You're going to get that old house coat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> get that dust off. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're about to change everybody glasses. at the house, man. Put that glasses where you look over your I know y'all have a good time. <laughs> y'all have a good time. Yeah. I can and tell. I just let them be them. And my biggest thing for East Texas right now, period, is that I love them. Like, we love them. We, we want to see East Texas get the rest recognition that right. has been overlooked for decades and it's only because we didn't know the formula if I can do anything else if my voice can be heard for anything my biggest thing is to let my people know stop killing each other we're killing each other even if it's not physically it's mentally it's verbally mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying like uphold each other and up, uplift e each other you know what I'm saying we are we got yeah you know yeah. what I'm saying so if you if we can't patronize each other and do it respectfully even when we disagree Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We still got to learn that we all we got. Man. Yeah. You know I, what see, I'm I see the dope. love down there. I see the love just that people go by different ways of showing their love. Yes. Yeah. Well, That's I think, really I think jealousy is. and envy as well becomes a factor because even when I was down there, you know, I'm rolling up in that, that 89 lack in 90. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, girl? <laughs> so, you know, everybody that had one yeah, of them. Yeah, the short booty Yeah, yeah, I had the 4100 <laughs> engine in that thing. And, you know, everybody else was looking. They were looking, you know what I'm saying? And, it was, yeah, I had the peanut butter interior. <laughs> and, yeah, with the, with the half rag. Yeah. And they were like, man, yeah. I, we want one of them. You yeah. know Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, but that's the way it be. Like, like people see you. Yeah, and then I drive off the red I dirt. I know you from down armor there. armor all out. Wipe yeah. my tie when yeah. I get back on the pavement. Yeah, I was ready with them. I didn't yeah. wear the same thing twice. Yeah. Listen, all I'm telling you is there's going to be envy and jealousy when you're doing something and everybody can't do what you do. Mm -hmm. It's a gift from God. Yeah. And, and so, therefore... That's fine. Yeah. But you still keep going on with what God has gifted you to do. Yes. You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm going to try because I have actually Fast Bash. It was originated for to give East Texas a platform for a them to job. do. But th I want them to know like they, they drag their feet. We have angry birds right now. That's what I call them because they wait till I told them that though. When this list come out, you're going to be mad at your homeboys that got on it. Oh, and you, you drug your that's feet. That's your list so on, that, on that bash. On, on that yeah, bash. Buddy. But it's not just East Texas. We got people from Louisiana, Louisiana. coming. We got people from Dallas. We got people from Houston. It's all over because they see it because they don't have that out there. And then for you to be in East Texas and not uh, take advantage of something so massive as even as just the networking. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. quit making excuses. Like, God, dog, if it's free, you ain't got... If, if, if it's free and you claim you are the hottest nigga in East Texas, there's no reason your support team shouldn't be there. That's right. True. So let me ask you this, because I think about the Boosie Bash when you keep saying this. Yeah. Is this in similarity to that, or I think Boosie's you, badge came out like right with ours. Like he, okay. 
Yeah, this is his third annual too. Okay, so y'all y'all kind of doing the same mm-hmm. type deal. That's great. How man. many people turned up last year? Um, well, well, the last the time last, we did it, I ran that, I yeah. ran fifty two artists through on the stage that okay. day, and we was out there all day. And as far as the turn up, we probably had about about three hundred to four hundred people, you know, in and out the whole day. This particular time, we'll be at the Holiday Inn inside, and we'll have the concert that night at the at the same venue. Inside, Shout out, yeah, it's going to be indoors, climatized, nice venue. It's nice. How many people can they fit? Um, up to what? Do you have a VIP end? section? Yes. Because that's where E would be. You gonna come yeah. to the VIP? If, if I'm there. <laughs> yeah, well, come on. If I'm there. I got yeah. your I got your logo on the floor. I'm always yeah. uh, in the VIP, yeah, well, baby. Come on in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like when I show up, I'm gonna have on a meat coat, nigga. You don't yeah, even well, know what you're doing. In all the all summertime. Man. It's all yeah, good. Don't play. It. I'm coming when I come. I don't come wrong. I come I right. <laughs> no, I come through. You know, yeah. they be like, he high side too yes, much. But I, that's how I come. We got Bubba <laughs> Dub coming. He's gonna be our nighttime host, 23 Cups is gonna be our daytime host wow. for the event. Man, that's dope. And, and then, how many artists you having this year? We are 32 acts that's actually competing okay. for the first three prizes. The top prizes is a thousand dollars cash and a trophy wow. and a package. The second prize is seven fifty cash and a trophy and a package. The third prize is usually what other people have there as their first prize, which is five hundred. So I mean, at the end that of the day, dope, and this is all day and night. Starts yeah, at what it starts time? Starts at three p.m. and it ends at midnight. But the contest goes from. Three to eight. So okay. at eight fifteen, they'll announce the winner of Fast Bash, and then we will bring on the East Texas artists, which is like I say, Smitty Hawkins, Ro Tarantino, Bigger Bag Tim, and Al D. Then Fast Entertainment will take place after that. They will do their set, and then we will go into the mainstream artists around probably by nine thirty that night. Shout out to uh, uh, Mogul Media. You need to get uh, Mama Scott on the gatekeeper list because uh, it's going down. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And nah. salute to the five judges that took the responsibility of coming to weather that storm Who will through be me. The judges? the judges will be LaRon Perkins, which is Half Pint Films. He's one of my judges. That's my boy. He's been on here. Yeah, Who else? everybody's known. Shay Trendy of New Swag TV. Okay. She's going to be in the building mm-hmm. as a judge. Brittany Stanton of BR Truth. She's one of the ones that's responsible for bringing in all the artists. Artists, yeah, acts, and yeah, stuff for Tyler yeah. now. That's dope. Son of TSF, which is one of Sauce Walker's main managers. Wow. And then Ant Williams of Virginia. He's um, an A&R for Def Jam Records and Beautiful. also uh, Route Runner Management. So. Wow, man. Man, that's dope, man. You you something else, man. I like you. <laughs> you got it put together. We down. We down. Like we in there. flat tires, man. <laughs> I like this, man. Yeah. Like, I love the fact that you you, you leaving it all on the... Yeah. On the on I'm the not spot. a perfect person. I no, don't no, no. Ain't me. nobody... Yeah. Th- I, no, wait a minute. You ain't got to say yeah. that. Yeah. I can yeah. tell you. Yeah. I know you ain't... Yeah. ain't but yeah. I'm real. But at least you trying. And I'm trying. Yeah. That's right. But no, I'm no. real. I don't know no, no other way to be. I'm not going to sit there and let you put me in no perfect <laughs> box either. I'm trying to... You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm not a perfect... I ain't either. Hell, everybody in here, all of them. Look at all of them got issues. Everybody got issues, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, ain't, but that don't stop the fact that God got a gift in you. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that yeah. it is what it is. Yeah. Ain't nobody been doing that down there like that, yeah. man. That's heavy for yeah, me. Yeah, and man. I believe in my entire team. They got my team. Let me just go on and, and, and pipe my. You want to? You want to go on and give them a shout out? Cause yeah. Journey left already. She couldn't yeah. deal with yeah. no more. Okay, yeah. well, shout out to Journey. Shout out to Chi Hindi. Those are my two okay. female artists. Shout out to Franchise. That's my oldest son. Uh huh. And shout out to Darian, DJ K Nash. Shout Already. out to AJ One K. You know, straight out the sip. Uh huh. Shout out to Say Look Out Trilly. Okay. And shout out to A Ghost. Already. So, how can people get a hold of you? Through such social media on IG. I'm yeah. on all platforms. Well, okay. I'm on IG as Mama Scott. Uh-huh. I'm on Facebook as Marnita Mama Scott because they took my other page. Yeah, I had, yeah. yeah they took You're cutting up page. too much. Yeah, they took yeah. me. And if somebody wanted to get on your team, all they have to do is reach out to you? Um, it's going to be a process, yeah. baby. Yeah, yeah. I'm, at this like point, that. like, <clears throat> because of the momentum that we have, I wouldn't. Taking no yeah, applicants yeah, right and it's now. all and I, and that's that's a big like I have so many people Mama even Scott, Papa Hussein just, just reached out. Uh, don't reach. We'll I'll reach out to you. I'll yeah. find you. Just, yeah. just keep it real. Just keep so, it real. Yeah, don't even, I, I'll I'll find you. Yeah, we find there. Artists. You go. And Let you know what? You're the first <laughs> person in management that I've known that actually had three females on their team because normally it's always just one. one. They yeah. don't want to deal with no more well, than it's one. Two. I just have two. 
Oh, it's two. Yeah, it's just okay. two. Okay, okay. The it, second well, one does have two names. And I didn't want the two. Now, Journey, 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 like kicked the dough in with me. You know, like okay. her personality, and she's really an awesome artist. Her, she's a lyricist out of this world. Beautiful. So she's the second female. So yes. when she come on here, she gonna bless the mic because we've been had them on here. Oh yeah, she oh, gonna Kay bless. Hey man, K Breezy, Journey, Breezy is the coldest, coldest female. Young. I put that on everything. Put that on everything. But I don't know about that. You know I go there. That That's me. Y'all seen Can me in the Bible. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> I, I'm supposed Bring to feel it. like that, but Bring I'm just saying. It. I don't know uh, about that. Light it up. XO uh, from down there. You got a lot of Smitty Hawking from down there. Smitty Cole too. Uh, yeah, XO from down there. Smitty Cole too. So you got some heat down there. Yeah, so don't come too. up in there bumping your chest. They Cole too, but I'm going to say that. And guess what? If they honest, guess what? But Smitty's the type of person, like, she gives homage, like, no, for no, real. No, no, and no, we definitely. give homage to her. It's, a, it's, it's funny. It's a competitive, boy, it's competitive. Yeah, but it's a, it's a good. Like, but it's a, a friendly competition. The females are different. Yeah. Like I can say that about a female, they're like, okay, Mom Scott, because they know I rock with all of them. Like I have a, if I speak on it, I, I'm different than most people. This is what that burns my ass when they say oh, we use Texas. Name me ten artists. Already. Name their songs. Already. Because I got them in my playlist. Yeah. I got them in my playlist. Well, let me ask you this. So you, you, you know when you sit behind that mic and talk about how hard you is. You know, she got to come back on the show. Oh, yeah. She got to come back on here. Hey, 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 man. She got to come back. And I want to hear. She can hold her ground. She better be able to. Yeah, she I'm can gonna hold be her over ground. Here. I'm going to be over here. <laughs> and so can my, my, my vocalist, Chi Hindi, the same way. Uh, well, we uh, we had a sing on here. Don't make me go I there. Would, but put up against Chi. Ooh, you don't want that smoke. Yeah, yes, I do. Why y'all don't even? Boy, Both I, lighters. You which know one, what? Which one of the singers are you thinking about? You thinking I'm about, about Monroe? Hey, yeah, man, that's Bring hard. It. Monroe, she, she, she. Hey, hey. Mm. And she's hard. Hard. You know what? I'm not she sure. is also. She's hey, also a hard, vocal right? coach. She's also um, an opera singer. She can do it's bad. She, I'm she does it all. Listen, man, this now, is she coming. can't have no 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 uh, master's degree and all that stuff right there. Talking yeah. about she nah, do man. it all. She so we had some heavy people on here, but I'm telling you though, know, it's just good to be able to look and recognize the people through you. Yes, I love what you're doing. You pose to feel that way about your yeah. team, and hell, I stand there with you yeah. through everything. Yeah, that's the way you pose to be, yeah. and that's the why that's what motivates them to go harder too. Yes, and they're, and they're be very honest well with them though. Rounded. Like if you mess up, nigga, no, nah, that's not good enough. <laughs> Come back harder than that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't care if you got a song with whoever. Trust yeah. me, they know I'm very vocal, very, very real about I'm what's going vocal. on, right? Yes, and, I, and they don't like to always hear it. it when I give my advice, mm -hmm. you know, especially my sons. Oh, no, no, no. You're supposed to. <laughs> but they, they don't like, but one of them is more receptive, and that's 1K. But Franchise and DJ, they, they're my natural sons, so it's a little bit different yeah. with them, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But they still respect me, you know well, what I'm saying? But Come on, man. My you team ain't, be, they ain't on that messy shit, though. No, they no, working. No. You would, you would, yeah, they ain't got time. They ain't got time. <laughs> So I need to know. Down with that. Like, so yeah. Mama Scott, I need to know your top, top three, three artists, artists of all time. time. Dead or alive. Dead or alive. Any genre. Top three. My top three. Top three. Number one. Mary J. Blige. Okay. Down Mary J. Blige. That's hers. Ooh. Number two. Yeah, R. yeah, Kelly. yeah. Real love. Okay, number three. R. Kelly. R. Kelly back in the building, y'all. It don't matter what he done. She still, you know what I'm you saying? You can't take away she, from that man's look, craft. Man, these folks is not trying to hear that about R. Kelly. They look, man. Three, Drake. Drake? Okay. That's kind of safe. I don't know. In that order? She did them three real quick, didn't she? She been watching the damn show. So nah. Really, you know, really you know already. Love. Man, that's good. Okay, I want to Next question I'm going to say. Oh, you got another <laughs> kind of dance <laughs> for? But let's just name it. What is your women. top three? What is your top three managers of all time? Managers. Mm. Top three? Yeah, got him, got him, yeah. got him, got him. As far as managers. Yeah, got him. Mm. Yeah, we got him. We stumbling on that. Yeah, we I'm got stumbling. Him. Yeah. Cause first of all, you, I'd be like me. I'm one. I like you Jermaine Dupree. Okay. He, he yeah, heavy. Okay. Jermaine's good. Yeah, I like Jermaine well, Dupree. Yeah. Mm. B Mims. Okay, B Mims. Yep. I like him. And um, who else? Puff Daddy. Oh, okay. I should knew you like a puff daddy when you be dancing in the mirror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, I love I love that man. So um other than that, man, uh anything else you want to say before about the bass before we get off here? 
No other just than come on out. just come on out. Come out with a positive mindset. No negative attitudes. No negative energy allowed in the building. No purses or backpacks will be allowed inside the building to, for safety measures. And you, it's at Holiday Inn. Yes, it's in at Longview. the Holiday Inn. Uh-huh, 300 Total Circle okay. in Longview, across from Longview Mall. How y'all going to be making all that noise inside of inside of the Holiday Inn? Y'all going to run all them guests out of there. Holiday the manager Holiday. likes Mama Scott. She's cool. She done bought the, the, the whole yeah. floor. Yeah, I bought the whole the floor. Just so we can do wow. Oh, okay, because I know that music And we gonna secured be all the rooms above us so that, that no now, one who, can complain. Who are you coming for a second? Just say something in my mic. What'd you say? You want to talk all <laughs> yeah. in the damn no, bag? <laughs> what you say? Come on, Trinity. Hey, we you lit. Say? No, you, that is my dog. Go. go ahead. Hey, we lit, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all come out fast, bad, July 17th, man. We gonna have a party, you know what I'm saying? We gonna yeah. have a party, so y'all come out, you know what I'm saying? Fast NT, we coming out for whole East Texas, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody. Yes, Already, everybody. man, that's good, man. So, hey, Mama Scott, we love you. I love y'all, too. No, 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 we gonna bring it like that. <laughs> yeah. We love you. I love you We love, love y'all what too. you're doing. We ask you to keep on doing and striving, and yeah. if you ever need us, We've been here 15 years. Praise God. we would be here yes. 15 more. Um, you know, just want to say. And just keep us in your prayers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For we sure. will. We keep us in your prayers. Everybody come on this yeah. show. Yeah. 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 We we fall in love fast. We used in everything. Yeah. We battled all type of stuff over here. Yeah. But we love hard. You know what I'm saying? That's that boss talk. Bro. Already. Woo. She said it. I got my drop right then. Mm -hmm. Boss talk 101, <laughs> man. Holler at your boy where the bosses talk. You know what I'm saying? Hey, thank you so much for coming on the show. This has been welcome. another great segment of. Boss Talk 101. And don't forget to like and subscribe on our YouTube channel. And we out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>